Listen, I get it. I like B&H as much as the next filmmaker. But you don't always have to pay filmmaking prices for good filmmaking tools. Hey, I'm Joe. And in this part one video of a new series that I'm doing, I want to talk about just that. Filmmaking tools that don't need to cost filmmaking prices. If you're in this industry, you already know that there's a certain tax that comes to anything filmmaking. If you label it as filmmaking, it's likely going to cost more money. So I decided I was going to go out, take a look at some various retailers in my area, and see if I could find some tools that would be very helpful for anybody's filmmaking kit, see what the difference in price is there. So the first store I'm looking at in this series is one that's probably within about an hour of where you live if you're in the continental US. And that's Harbor Freight. If you've ever been to Harbor Freight, you know that they are a treasure trove of tools for DIYers and mechanics and all the above. But there's a lot of stuff that's handy for filmmakers there too, and I want to talk about a few of them. First off, A-clamps. Use A-clamps all the time. You can use them on set to hold stuff like black wrap or hold up your backdrops or clamp other things to stands. <laughs> Throw them in your kit, you will be happy. Flatbed carts are another awesome tool that are way cheaper at Harbor Freight. Looking at a 19 by 29 inch folding platform truck at Harbor Freight, $39.99. When I looked online at these, they were almost twice that price at film retailers. Another awesome filmmaking tool that you could get right now at Harbor Freight are Fernie Blankets. They're super handy for knocking down sound and making rooms sound a little more dead if you've got a lot of echo or liveliness. They're also really handy for blocking light or just keeping gear safe when you're moving it around. Right now, you can get a 72 inch by 78 inch grommeted black furniture blanket for $14.99. And if you don't need grommets, you could get a 40 inch by 72 inch moving blanket, also black, for five bucks. <laughs> Such a great deal. Throw these in your kit. I haven't gotten any of these for my own personal kit yet, and I'm probably gonna go to Harbor Freight after this video is done and pick some up because I had no idea they were this cheap there. The next few things that I found are particularly handy if you're working as a grip or an AC or camera operator on set, and you need tools. And if you're gonna get some tools, you're gonna need a tool bag. A lot of really great options here. Most of them were at or under 20 bucks. And if you're starting out, you don't need a Porter Brace tool bag to carry around your pliers. They're four times the cost, it's not necessary. Not in the beginning. By all means, as your business scales, as your skills scale, get that bag. It's probably worth it. Just go to Harbor Freight, you get the whole kit of tools and the bag and all of it for the same price as that Porter Brace bag. And speaking of tools, they have tons of options for Allen keys here as well. And for a lot of camera rigs and various pieces of grip equipment, Allen keys are going to be really handy. They have T-bar Allens, they have those little kind of puck style that you can hold in your hand where you fold them out like a Swiss Army knife. Lots of great options for Allen keys and they're all super, super aggressively priced. You could get a handful of these for the price of one airy T-bar Allen key at B&H. Pliers are the same way, also super handy on set. And you could get a six pack of various pliers, channel locks, lineman pliers, thin nose for under 20 bucks. And if you're going to be handling all that gear or hot lights or anything like that on set, a good solid pair of gloves are going to be your best friend as well. And you can get some amazing gloves that are going to take care of your hands and keep you safe for under 20 bucks. And really I feel like the list goes on and on here. There are some other two-tiered carts that would work as like a makeshift junior or senior cart for way cheaper than a junior or senior cart is going to run anywhere else. There are ladders, there are things like rope, there's all kinds of tools that people use on set that are going to be way more price efficient here than they would be if you were shopping at a filmmaking supply house. And I want to reiterate that my point here in this whole series is not to discount the quality of these filmmaking tools or to beat up on the retailers that are selling them. It's more to make sure that those folks that are starting out and overwhelmed with the cost of investing to get your kit up to snuff, I want to show you that there are great options out there, specifically with gear like this. You don't need to spend top tier prices to get good Allen keys or a tool bag. There are great options out there for that, and Harbor Freight is one of them. That's it for the first video in this series, filmmaking tools that don't have to cost filmmaking prices. 
and I am so excited to bring you a couple more of these. I've got a few more stores in mind, and I also want to maybe look at some online retailers. I hope this brought you some value. If nothing else, a little entertainment. If so, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.